The human food slaves are wrapped tightly with golden rubber band material and placed on a levitating platform for easy transport. They are alive but immobilized and in a semi-comatose state, hanging between life and death and fear and pain. On hue, time is of the essence. If the Hueite authorities find out about the terrorist spy, and they will within days, Vijet will be caged like a human for thousands of years. It is a fate worse than death. Once, on floor 1573, Vijet meets General Titler. Titler is happy to see the terrorist leader again. Vijet offers the general the very rare and precious primitive artifacts from Earth, the DVD player, the hat, and the ring. Vijet also presents it with the humans for its lunch. The greedy general is extremely pleased with the precious gifts and free food and welcomes Vijet in. Floor 1573 is very spacious and luxurious. The floors are covered with diamonds and precious metals, but the food section is a human hellhole. There are huge open windows in the skyscraper through which the beasts fly to pick up brainless human bodies. In the corner, there stands a cage with a few hundred old men, old women, and babies squeezed inside screaming in pain. Minutes later, a second Huai terrorist, Dr. Surjet, joins Vijet and Titler. The two terrorists quickly murder the fat general. After murdering Titler, they open the door of the cage and release the human farm animals. The ravenous beasts waste no time devouring the thin old men, old women, and babies. Their death is a divine gift. The starving beasts are quick and merciful killers. Within minutes, no human is alive. On floor 1573, except the, hu- except the three human slaves who are protected by the two terrorists. With the assistance of the three aliens, Dr. Surjet then annexes the brain of Titler to that of Vijet. Vijet's brain now weighs more than 350 pounds. After a couple of hours, the brain surgery is successfully completed, but after Vijet comes out of anesthesia, something unexpected happens. The the annexation of Titler's brain changes Vijet's personality. At first, the sadistic part of its brain takes over, and it starts eating the brain of one of the human food slaves. But after hearing the screaming of the poor human, miraculously, the other side, that of the vegetarian terrorist, regains control. Since the brain of General Titler is annexed to Vijet's brain, it knows nothing that the general knew. Vijet quickly finds and opens a hidden safe with a Hewite combination lock containing secret codes documents, and sophisticated electronic tools needed to redirect the satellites. Once they collect all the material they need, they approach one of the window, one of the open windows. General Titler's luxurious high-tech spacecraft is parked right outside the window, hovering in space. They all then get in the general spacecraft. Escape you and join rebel forces waiting 17 million miles away. The Sparrow. With General Titler's brain attached to Vijets, the rebel escapes are now a formidable en- enemy. Even for the Huite authorities, the Huite authorities realize this. The next day, when they discover Titler dead on floor 1573 of Huchulu Palace, the dead general is wearing a hat covered with exotic feathers, which hides its missing brain. A ring made of gold and diamonds flashing different color lights on its antennae and is holding a DVD. The Huite police headmaster 
Polite immediately contacts President Hulid via Hewite video conferencing and informs it that Titler has been murdered and its brain is missing. Polite recommends that all the satellites immediately be disabled before the t- terrorists can use them to destroy Hugh. Upon seeing the live video of the crime scene, President Hugh White, President Hugh Lead inquires about the object the general is holding. Polite does not yet know what it is. Hugh Lead then notices a black box on top of one of the shelves and inquires about the odd-looking box. Polite again replies that they do not yet know and have not had time to investigate. There may be an H-bomb inside the box. Again, Polite reiterates that the satellites must be disabled immediately before the terrorists gets before the terrorists get a chance to use them. Hulid ignores Polite's recommendation and instead orders an X-ray of the black box and a miss and a microscopic analysis of the DVD disc. The black box has a primitive circuit board. Inside and a slot in its front that approximately matches the diameter and thickness of the DVD. The back of the box has two metallic slots indicating a primitive AC accelerator, AC electrical power source. The microscopic analysis of the DVD reveals that it has ridges in it that were cut by a laser device which may hold encrypted messages. After a few minutes of fiddling with the box and the DVD, Polite figures out the DVD instrument and plays the DVD for President Hugh Lead. A message pops up on the video in Hugh White that says, Do not fiddle with my satellites. I have reversed the satellite signal so that the moment you try to disable or interfere with the signals, your actions will trigger my program. The triggered program will reverse the satellite's direction and fire H-bombs at Hugh. I am in control of your destiny. You must do as I command or I will destroy you. The video goes on to show the secret meeting between General Titler and Vijet. In the video, General Titler expresses its desire to see the newly elected president, Hugh Lee, dead. The general offers to pay a large sum to Vijet as a reward for assassinating Hugh Lee and even a larger sum for Hugh Lead's fresh dead brain. On the dead, oops, on the video, Vijet then explains the rebel, <coughs> the rebels' desire for peace on Hugh and their wish for the longevity for the new president. Vijet goes on to explain that their goal is to improve life for everyone on Hugh, including the humans. Master Vijet demands that human meat factories be banned, the cutting off and breaking of fingers stopped, and that the human food slaves be freed. In addition, it wants its two inventions, Brain Melon and Paradise, legalized and fully funded. Then the video shows a, se- a section of a an auto- of an automated sorry then the video shows a section of an automated human baby processing assembly line a hue white robot quickly binds a baby's little hands legs and neck to the soft cradle this is to prevent the baby from jerking in a natural attempt at suicide to escape the administered pain. The robot then quickly breaks the baby's fingers as the baby screams in pain and jerks uncontrollably from side to side. It shows a bloody fe- it shows a bloody feces covered human locked in a tiny cage for life. With not enough room to stand up straight, 
staring into the camera, it shows a human girl being hung from her eyeball to teach the other children the consequences of disobeying a Hewite. These are just a few examples of the secret daily atrocities systematically systematically yeah committed against the billions of innocent human commodities all documented on the video the video ends with a scene of tree on earth covered with cherry blossoms scenes the video ends with a scene of a tree on earth covered with cherry blossoms a sparrow a sparrow is sitting on one of the branches. Down below are a human male and female playing with their baby. The video then focuses back on that branch as the sparrow flies off and disappears into the earth's blue sky. The message is clear. Bridget wants peace. President Hugh Lead summons all of the Hugh White's top leaders, explains the situation, and plays them the video. The president makes it clear that the terrorists could have destroyed Hugh if they had wanted to, that their fate is in the hands of the rebels, and that they have no choice but to comply. The terrorists are not demanding money, power, or fame, but a better life for all beings on Hugh. Their demands are reasonable, and they have saved their president's life by assassinating the evil general whom they all hated and feared. Shortly thereafter, the Hugh White authorities consent to all of the terrorists' demands and elect Vijet as their new general. A year later, the rebels return to Hugh. The human meat factories have been destroyed and the chopping off and breaking of fingers have been banned. Ray Arjamond is the author of this book. A little about him is he's a U.S. citizen and has two bachelor degrees. He's in his late 20s. Or he was in his late 20s um, and 20 pounds overweight. Uh, addicted to junk food. Uh, frequently fast food restaurants. He was unaware of the secret animal cruelty sustaining the restaurants. His intent in writing this fiction is to vividly expose the horrors of price competition when the traded commodity is alive. Also, you can buy this book on Amazon, although you may want to wait off on that. Or if you could help us, we're trying to figure out how to update the name because it says Richard Smith. Because he was trying to use an alias or something so more people would buy it or something. I don't know what he's thinking. Or what I was thinking, or what anyone was thinking, but that's how it is now. So we're trying to figure out how we can change the name on the book or whatever. Anyways, the science fiction horror story Human Brain Soup is worthy of the genre. It is the most shocking that I have read. This futuristic story, operating on many levels, powerfully illustrates the horrors that farm animals endure by rudely showing humans in their place. So that's just a little bit about this book. Here's more reviews, but uh, check it out yourself on Amazon. Thanks, Amazon.com. Go check it out, I guess, yeah. Thanks.